Turning now to earthquake news. More than 400 aftershocks have rattled Kern County since the Mettler earthquake first struck Tuesday night. That includes about 30 temblers with a magnitude of three and four. And that has a lot of people talking. Does this mean the big one is on the way? Some say they are predicting it does. 17's Connor Doerr is here now to dispel one big myth. Connor. Multiple posts floating around social media predict a big earthquake in Southern California this weekend. But scientists tell us predictions like that are unreliable. They're pure guesswork because no one has developed a provable way of forecasting earthquakes. This is the social media post from Free Earthquake Prediction depicting two graphs. The post itself reads, warning, a 6.1 to 6.5 magnitude earthquake is likely in Southern California on August 10th, 2024. CSUB professor William Crew says scientists around the globe have been working on predicting short-term earthquakes, but that goal is elusive. But haven't be able, been able to do it particularly for short-term uh, earthquake events. Mm -hmm. um, and in general, what we do is we do forecasting. Forecasting looks at the probability that earthquakes and aftershocks will happen. And they tend to occur at a certain rate at, and over a length of time um, for different magnitude earthquakes. And so we can use that information to get some uh, forecasting of what the probability of having different magnitude earthquakes or aftershocks are going to be following a larger earthquake event. Crew went on to say what criteria the predictions have to meet. A lot of the predictions that you get following a big event like this, they need to have clear evidence that they're based in science, um, provide the, the documentation for that, uh, and show that they're basically being tested um, with these different different uh, uh, earthquake scenarios. Prediction and forecasting for earthquakes in the long term is still near impossible for scientists to do. Crew says that the aftershocks from this, week, er, this week's earthquake could continue into next year. If you experience a bad aftershock, remember to stop, drop, and find cover until the shaking stops. In studio, Connor Doerr, 17 News.